YouTube has changed his look completely once again. I think it's an opportunity to do it ourselves too. There we go, man. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm going to show you the new Claymore Miner for Zcash. Okay, so first of all, we need to download Claymore Miner v12.6. I'm sorry the new website isn't finished yet, but I'm going to show you this already so you know in the future that we're going to be able to do this on the future website because it's not released yet, but for people that are watching this video like two weeks later than its release right now, you will be able to do this the way I'm just showing you. For the people that are using YouTube right now as the first ones, just need to go into the link in the description below to find these downloads. So first of all, you will see that it has some changes for the added Vega support, for example, with ASM mode. And they have added ASM mode for RX 460s and 560 cards. So you get an extra 20% of speed on mining Zcash with these cards. So you can always download the original one from Claymore itself. It will always link you to the latest version of Claymore or you can use the pre-made Claymore Miner for Zcash for Windows or Linux that I have created for you and that was actually it for this part. Okay so now you can start downloading the pre-made Claymore Miner files for v12.6 Zcash Miner. So you can just click the link and download it straight from Mega NZ. And we're going to change some settings in this Zcash miner so that you can use your own address, of course. And we're just going to show you how it's done. So first of all, you need to extract your files to, for example, your desktop just to make it easy. And you can just drag it out of WinRAR and it will start extracting. You will see that this map is over here right now and you can just open it up and you'll see a lot of files inside there. So today I'm going to show you how to edit the start miner for 4GB and above cards for Nvidia and AMD. So what you're going to do is just right click the file and hit edit. After that you will see that there is a lot of things inside it and the main component that we're going to be changing today is the server, the wallet address and your miner name. So first of all we're going to change our miner address, our wallet address to be exact. And that address can be obtained, for example, with a wallet on freewallet.org or whatsoever. So you can just make your own address and paste it in here. Later on, you will see your progress on this address and also your payouts will be paid on this address. So next up, you can change your miner name. We're going to be mining with an RX 580 today and an RX 570 today. So that's how we're going to call our miner, miner today, RX 580 and 570. Then we're going to change the pool server and today I'm going to be using EU1 because I'm from Europe. But if you're from USA, you can just put in US1 or USA1. I'm not sure what it is, but you can always check it up on flypool.org. After that, you can just save your file up by hitting file and save and you can start running your miner. Just double click the startminer.bat file and you will see that you are starting to mine. So at the first start, it will go and ask you for permission to be launched on your firewall. And after you accept it, you will be starting to mine. Okay, so as you can see, we are mining with about 288 hashes per second and 290 hashes per second on Zcash with an RX 580 and an RX 570. These are both sapphires, one is a nitro, the RX 580, and the RX 570 is a sapphire pulse with only 4 gigabyte of memory. Okay, so now that we're still mining, I wanted to show you how to keep track of your mining progress. So as you can see it has a lot of shares already and that means that we are able to track our progress. So we still need our uh, I mean Zcash address so you can copy your own address over here back in your script and just close it up 
and you can minimize the minor. So as you can see, it's still going on and we are going to keep track of what we're doing. So we're going to zcashflypool.org and we can paste our address right here in the right corner and then we can check the status. So as you can see, we are currently mining with one active worker and you can see our hash rates are the reported hash rates are going to be 360 hashes per second but the current hash rate is only 193 because we just started mining so you can see your immature balance that means how many zcash you already earned with mining like one or two minutes but my unpaid balance is over here it is 0.03 zcash and it will be paid out, if you can see your settings, on 0 0.05, 0 0.05 Zcash. So that's pretty nice to see that we can put it as a minimum of that. But you can always change it if you would like to have one Zcash. You just have to fill in your own IP address and then you can save your new setting. So if you want to have a payout of 10 Zcash, you will have to fill in your own new IP address and save it up again. So you can just go back to the dashboard and see what you are doing. So currently we are having the worker RX580 570 as we just called it and we are doing the current hash rate of 360 hashes per second and an average hash rate of 360 hashes per second. So we already done 27 valid shares and no invalid shares. So this is how you can keep track of your mining progress and I will also put that in the link in the description below so you can follow that up as well. So after we have reached 0.05 Zcash it will be paid onto our address. So it will be paid on our free wallet on our phone. So that's really nice and it's also one of my favorite wallets. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one.